and this is what you're going to do. You get your one milliliter of chromatography solvent in the chromatography vial and put the cap on. Let it sit here while you're getting everything else prepared. This will allow the vapors to fill the chamber, which is what you want. Then you take your chromatography paper right here. Uh, you have your students cut a little triangle at the end and measure a line up. I believe they say one centimeter uh, from the end. So they draw their line here, they cut so we have a, a point, and then what you're going to do, you take your spinach leaf, you put that right over the chromatography paper, and this is really the hardest part of the lab, is they need to roll this quarter on top of the spinach leaf, which is on top of this line on the chromatography paper. They want to get that as close to the line as possible. So you get your leaf here, you get your quarter, and you're going to roll it a few times to get uh, as much of that pigment to come out. Then you're done with the quarter. Then you pull your spinach leaf away. And you should be left with some pigment right on that line looking something like that. Now, you take your chromatography paper with the pigment on there, like so, you remove the cap, and you are going to place this chromatography paper in the chromatography vial. You want to make sure that your chromatography uh, paper where the pigment is does not go into this uh, solvent like this. If that happens, then uh, it will start to get, the pigment will get in the solvent and then through, um, you know, uh, some cohesion, it's going to make its way up the paper. So, you want to make sure that it sits something like this so the point um, is in the solvent and the pigment is not. You put the cap on top and you let this sit. It really depends how long you're going to let it sit. Uh, you know, I've seen this go really quickly in a matter of a couple minutes. Sometimes it takes maybe 10 minutes. But we want this solvent to travel all the way up the paper until it gets very close to the top. Um, what you're going to see happen is this pigment here is going to um, start to uh, start to separate. Okay, and what we should see. I've done this correctly, yes, is we should get these colors that start to come out of the pigment. Um, and so that's when it separates. When you pull this out, you want to immediately draw a line where the solvent front is. It should be up here, so you just grab your pencil. When you pull this out, actually let me pull it out first. So we go ahead, take our cap off. We going to then pull this paper out. When you do that, you can draw a line right about here, which is where your solvent front should be. It should be just in front of that yellow pigment, and you're going to be needing that to take some measurement. So get that line drawn, and they really need to do that in a matter of seconds, otherwise it is gone. Alright, uh, that's that should definitely help you out here with this lab. And enjoy.